Hi guys, welcome to the vlog. Today we'll have an educational vlog, so tune in because learning is fun. Do you like traveling? Or do you like going outside and enjoy the nature? Or have you ever had that moment where you stared at a certain thing and started seeing it differently because now you can see its tiny details that makes it beautiful? How do you feel if I tell you that we are being surrounded by mathematics more than we are aware of? Maybe you've asked yourself, why am I studying math? Where in my daily life I'm gonna use it? The number of petals in a flower, the patterns on the tree bark, the proportions of a structure, and even the proportions of your face involves a mathematical sequence and ratio, which are the Fibonacci sequence and the golden ratio. So what is a Fibonacci sequence? Fibonacci sequence is named after Leonardo Pisano, also known as Fibonacci an Italian mathematician that used the arithmetic series to illustrate a problem based on a pair of breeding rabbit. His observations resulted in a series of numbers where you start at 0 and 1 and start a rule where the next number on the series is the sum of the two preceding numbers. It can be expressed numerically as 0, 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and so on and so forth. Fibonacci sequence is related to the golden ratio. The golden ratio or divine proportion has a value of 1 plus square root of 5 all over 2 or approximately 1.618 and is represented by the Greek letter 5. We can find the golden ratio if we divide a line into two segments with different lengths such that the longer segment divided by the shorter segment is also equal to the whole length divided by the longer segment. It can be observed in a lot of areas such as architecture and art. Now that we know their definitions, let's now go and explore for some examples in our surroundings to appreciate this beautiful mathematical context. I bet you can never unsee it after this video. Fibonacci sequence in architecture. Did you know that when starting any architectural design, it is important to create a set of limitations to deal with what you have and what you can do with it? So, the Fibonacci sequence was utilized to make the building entirely in proportion that creates a sense of harmony that our subconscious mind is attracted to. First example is the Parthenon. It is a former temple in Athenian Acropolis, Greece. And since the building is 30.8 meters wide and 61.9 meters long, which equals to the ratio 4-9 that is also found in other parts of the building. And then the Great Pyramids of Giza. I guess you're probably familiar with pyramids since it's one of the most ancient and the best example of the use of phi because the ratio of the height of the pyramid to either of the sides of its base approximately equals to phi. And lastly, from the ancient times to the modern sea and tower, the aesthetically pleasing aspects of phi is ever present. It's a 553.3 meters high and although modern, it contains the golden ratio in its design. The ratio of the observation deck at 342 meters to the total height of 553 meters is 0 0.618 which is the reciprocal of phi. And that's how the Fibonacci sequence was used in architecture. And now, we're going to look if we can see Fibonacci sequence in our nature. Fibonacci sequence can be seen anywhere. We are not just aware that those things belongs or is considered in Fibonacci sequence. Just like these flowers for example. 
Fibonacci sequence is present in these because of their number of petals, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And 5 is seen or is a part of Fibonacci sequence. Another example is an egg. The proportion of the egg shape are closely associated with the golden ratio. See this picture to better understand the association of the egg and the golden ratio. And now, let's move on to Fibonacci series and golden proportions of human body. As a human being, we are all confused if numbers like Fibonacci have a significant connections in our body. The Fibonacci number and the golden mean ratio both have a significant connections to the shape, proportionality, and even to the function of some parts of the human anatomy. The same phenomenon of phi or phi that is found on nature's objects from the snail shells to the spirals of the galaxy is also found in the design structure of the human body. Just like the cochlea of the ear, it is a Fibonacci spiral as is the spiral of the umbilical cord. We can notice Fibonacci patterns in different ways, firstly on the physical anatomy of the human body, such as our hands. Why? Because as we clench our fist, Fibonacci sequence will be applied because our hand allows itself to form a perfect curl when we clench our fist and it shows the Fibonacci spiral. The next is our arms. Isn't it amazing that even our arms, we can apply the golden ratio? It is because the ratio of your forearm to your hand is 1.618 or the golden ratio. And our last example is our face. The face is based on the golden portion or golden ratio. That is why from the top of the head to the bottom of your chin, it will be 16.8 inches on average. And it, that is why it is considered as the golden ratio. Isn't it amazing that even the human body or the human part of the body, we can apply the Fibonacci sequence or the golden ratio. And now, let's move on to our conclusion. After a few minutes, Shireen, Kristen, Alea, and Stephanie shared with us the wide coverage of Fibonacci and golden ratio which can be applied in our nature, body measurements or proportions, and also in the field of architecture. In that short period of time, we were able to tackle those two mathematical topics. Amazing, right? I hope in the end of this discussion, you won't be able to forget the Fibonacci sequence, Fibonacci patterns of nature, and the divine proportion, which is commonly known as golden ratio, which is 1.618. I'm Cyril, and this is Group 6. Thank you for your time. Goodbye.